Hi, this is Emma Wright, and today I'm going to go through with you several steps on what is the best way to get a website uh, domain name, um, the best, like cheapest alternative, and still provides you the privacy that you might want, and also how to change the DNS um, once you've purchased it so that you can get the domain um, hosted on the uh, website of your uh, on the hosting service of your choice. So today I have on the web page here, uh, internet.bs. It is based out of the U.S. So um, if you put in your credit card, you know it may um, reject your credit card just because um, it's not based in the U.S. But or rather your credit card might reject it, thinking it's a, a scam. But it's not. I've bought several um, of my internet um, domain names from here. So if you go to the main site, uh, this is the home page. And if you look down here, it says um, it gives you a free private who is. If you were to buy the site um, on GoDaddy, it might charge you $7.99 or $14.99, I think, to um, give you this private who is. But they, um, but this website, Internet BS, gives it to you for free. So if you can see here, it'll give you several options. You can get from a .w um, xyz dot feedback. I would suggest in everything that you do, just uh, go for the dot com. So real quick, I want to show you how this process works. So let's say I want to um, get a new website, which I am not, but um, let's say I want to get the e your epub um, coach, for instance, dot com. So I want to check it. Your EPUB is an e-publishing. So I will check to see if it's available and it will quickly configure uh, and let you know with its search tool. As you can see, this one is available and, and it's available for $849 to nine, uh, $899. So what you can do is you can just add to the cart as I'm doing it right here. And um, if you go to the cart real quick, um, and also, I want to just let you know, depending on where you're at, and I'm in the U.S., you just click the kind of currency that you want. Um, so once you have it there, all you need to do is basically go to your cart and um, purchase the website. So for me, I wanted to show you, say, say like you've already bought the cart. You see, you, okay, I'm going to show it to you real quick before I go on. You see, if it says here, my cart, and I have um, two websites um, in the in the cart. I'm not sure why it's two web uh, two, but let's just take a quick look. Oh, I get it. Um, okay, isn't that strange? The dot uh, x y z is actually more expensive than the dot com. I would never uh, suggest that you buy anything other than a dot com. If you have to not have a dot com because everything you've tried um, does not come up as um, available, then I would suggest a dot net. So I do not want I do not want this. So I'm just going to trash it. And then the next thing you'll see is that it gives you options. You can just buy it for a year or for 10 years. So let's say I want to just buy it for a year. That's only nine, uh, $8.99 a year. It gives you a, a private who is, and you can buy web hosting from them, which I'm not going to. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to be buying this particular domain, domain name because I already have several. So I'm going to go real quick and show you the ones that I have and show you how you can actually um, change the... Uh, hold on a second. I don't know why the why. Okay. Got it. My do go to my domains. Once you buy the um, URL, it will populate in your uh, my domain inside my account. And in this particular situation, I thought I'd show you how how I do this for um, this particular website um, domain name, uh, christiansreview.com. So what I'll do is I just need to click on this. And if you click on this website uh, domain name, it'll bring you to this page. And if you see, um, it'll give you several options that you can um, choose from. I 
after you've bought your uh, your domain name, the next thing you need to do is you need to buy a hosting service. So let's say I want to move this particular um, domain name to Bluehost. So if you go to the bluehost.com website, or if you were to um, try and search out what it, what is their DNS, which is basically their name server, you will see their name service are here, ns.1bluehost.com, and that's their IP address, and then this is their NS2. So all you need to do is just copy this, ns.bluehost.com, go back to the internet.bs site, click on the update DNS list, and it'll ask you for the name servers which I've forgotten. Sorry about that. Uh, it is ns1.bluehost.com. So that's ns1.bluehost.com. You do not need the IP. And then the next one is ns2.bluehost.com. Having done that, all you need to do is go down and it's go, go to save. And the process will take about 24 to 48 hours. See, it says the update was successful. So you just click OK. And it'll take about 24 to 48 hours the servers will talk to each other and then when you go back to your bluehost uh, account it will um, tell you that it is uh, successful and then you go into your bluehost account and basically work from there in setting up your website um, for instance it if you can see here bluehost has the wordpress tools that you can use which makes it all one click. I like Bluehost even though they do they do use the C panel, but I used to use um, HostGator, and HostGator has a really confusing. Um, it says error establishing a connection. Um, that's fine. It's probably because um, of this application. It's making the internet slow, um, but that's okay. You won't get this when you do yours. But in any case, I wanted to just let you know that if you were to use HostGator, I find that the HostGator website is confusing because you don't always go through, say, HostGator.com, whereas in Bluehost, you always go through the host uh, Bluehost.com. I want to also go real quick and show you um, something about GoDaddy. Um, I do like GoDaddy, because it is easy to use in a sense that you know it it's all one click you can go through the through the godaddy account your godaddy account straight into your wordpress um page but um i've had some issues in terms of, of the site crashing they are however very responsive when you call their 480 number and it's 24 7 of support so that is a definitely a, a plus point for them. The other thing I also I like about GoDaddy is that if you look here, GoDaddy blog, you will learn a lot just by going to GoDaddy blog and just reading, especially if you're a newbie and you don't know very much. Um, one more thing I wanted to tell you about GoDaddy is that they do not give you uh, a free private uh, who is account and it's about $7.99 for a personal account or if it's a business account that's $14.99 a year which may be nothing to you I just wanted to make sure that you know what your options are and then the other thing also is that I wanted to show you real quick is the, the other one that I like is SiteGround which I mentioned in my email before if you're on my list and um, again they are very reasonable like $3.95 or $5.95 for um, a, a better one a month which is uh, not much at all, a cup of coffee, and that's all it is. Um, and again, a very easy cPanel and a one click web, uh, WordPress uh, website um, uh, uh, portal to go into your Word, WordPress. Um, I guess that's about all that I will tell you right now. And until the next video, um, have a ha happy time. Bye bye.